Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn a very interesting topic that is the centroid of semicircular area. We shall be finding the centroid of semicircular area. So we have got a semicircular area or we can say that we have got a semicircle and here I am showing the reference axis that is x axis and y axis. X axis is passing through the base of the semicircle while the y axis is passing to the center line of the semicircle. So y axis is basically the axis of symmetry of this semicircle friends. Now we can say O is the coinciding with the origin of x and y axis and R is the radius of this semicircular area or semicircle. Now we are interested to find the centroid of this particular area friends. As you can see from here y axis is dividing this particular semicircle into two halves. It means the centroid of this semicircle is going to lie on this y axis, something like this, friends. So you'll see that the centroid is lying over here and its x coordinate is going to be zero because it is lying on the y axis. So only the unknown is the y coordinate of this centroid, friends. So basically we need to find the y coordinate of this centroid of semicircular area. So let me just remind you the procedure to find the centroid of any figure, any plane. So that already we have seen in the previous discussion friends. So suppose we got any plane figure and we would like to locate the, the centroid of this plane figure with respect to let's say this horizontal axis. So basically we are interested to find this distance and that is called as y bar or the y coordinate of centroid. So the simple procedure is that we take a small area. We take an infinite decimally small area in this particular plane figure and we call it as dA and its distance from the axis we call it as y. So the y bar is basically mathematically friends y bar is nothing but the integration of y into dA divided by integration of dA. This dA is basically infinite decimally small area or small area of this section. Okay. So we multiply this dA by y and integrate it and that divided by the integration of small area dA. So this is the procedure we generally follow for finding out the y coordinate. Okay. So as we can see that we require a small area dA. Okay. So this is a semicircular area friends. So to maintain the geometry what I will do is I will consider a small area which is the form of a sector. Okay. So this is basically this has small area friends. Okay. The location of this sector is theta with respect to x axis and this angle that is the angle of the sector is very small that is d theta. So d theta is infinite decimally small angle of the sector. Now the radius of the sector is friends r is from here to here the radius is r friends and the length of this arc of the sector that is this length is ds. Since this d theta is very small so ds is also going to be very small. So we can say here that d theta and ds both are infinite decimally small. Both are very small or extremely small. Okay. Now if you look at this sector it is approximately appears like a triangle. So it is a triangle which has a base of ds and height approximately equal to r. Okay. Now if I want to find this length that is length of the arc or the length of the base of this triangle we can say. So this by simple geometry we can get ds equal to r times d theta by simple geometry friends. So d, ds equal to length of the arc equal to r times d theta and if I want to find the area of this particular sector let me say the area is da friends. So this area da will be situated at particular point here it will be concentrated at certain point and that point I am going to call as centroid of this sector. So let's say this is the centroid of this sector friends and at this particular point the area da is sitting. So the entire area da of this sector is concentrated at this particular point. The distance of this area because we need to find the distance of area da from the axis. The axis is x axis here friends. So we need to find y. So here the y is going to be this distance friends and that is distance from axis to the location of this point at which the area da we are going to con assume concentrate. Okay. So what about this da? So da is basically the area of this sector or for that matter I can say the area of this triangle. So I can write down the value of da also friends that is very simple. So da can be written as because it is a triangular form. It is like a triangle so 1 upon 2 base into height. So that 1 upon 2 base into height I can write down like this friends 1 upon 2 
times the base base is basically ds and the height is r but ds is friends r d theta as we have done here the ds the length of the base or ds is r d theta so this area da can be written as half r square d theta because ds is r d theta friends r into r is going to be r square so half r square d theta so here we got the we got the small area of the sector that is da which is 1 upon 2 r square d theta okay and because this ds was r d theta so that value we have put it here so we got da that area of this sector as half r square d theta with the help of this expression we can now try to find out the y coordinate of the centroid now if i take any triangle like this for example and here is the centroid of triangle for instance okay now the distance from tip to this particular centroid this is 2 by 3 2 by 3 times height whatever height is here friends if this height is h for instance we can say if this height is h then this distance is going to be 2 by 3 h from here to here and then from here to here it is going to be 1 by 3 times h this is basic understanding of the triangle now same way if i go here friends this is the centroid of this sector or triangle we can say so the distance of this point from the origin o is going to be 2 by 3 times height height is r friends and the distance of this point from the base is going to be 1 by 3 times the height that is r so that is what i have written here friends this distance is 2 by 3 times radius and this distance is 1 by 3 times radius okay so this is what we got now so friends from origin to this point the distance is 2r by 3 so we can find the value of y by simple geometry as 2r by 3 sin theta this is very important so we got the sufficient information to find out the y coordinate of centroid of this semicircle okay because we required y friends so we have got the value of y as 2r by 3 sin theta and we also got the value of friends da that is area and that is what 1 upon 2 r square d theta okay so we'll substitute these values in this expression to find out the y coordinate of centroid so the y coordinate of centroid is given as y bar equal to integration of y da divided by integration of da friends now this da friend integration of small da is the total area of semicircle because if you integrate the small small areas throughout if you take this sector and you integrate it from here to here completely you are going to get the total area of semicircle and the total area of semicircle as you are aware it is nothing but pi r square by 2 the area of semicircle is going to be pi r square by 2 because the total area of circle is pi r square okay now let's proceed with this information friends so i'm going to substitute the corresponding values we have so it is going to be integration as it is now the value of y we have already got friends so value of y that is distance of the small area from x axis 2r by 3 sin theta so i'm going to put it here this was the value of y we got okay now next da friends so already we have obtained the value of d as 1 upon 2 r square d theta that is the area of the sector the small area of sector is da which is 1 upon 2 r square d theta okay now the denominator part pi r square by 2 so i'll write it as it is this is important friends now we'll further simplify it and let's see what you will get now if you see here the r square is going to be constant because the radius throughout is going to be same so r square is same friends so in the numerator we have got r square in the denominator we have got r square so that will be eliminated so this r square and denominator part of r square can be cancelled out and then this 2r by 3 friends this is going to be constant because radius is constant this 1 by 2 is also constant now here also you see here in numerator we have got 1 by 2 and denominator also we got 1 by 2 so this 1 by 2 also will be cancel out from numerator and denominator friends now the remaining is here we have 2r by 3 and denominator we have got pi so this is 2r by 3 is constant it will come outside the integration friends and here we have pi so pi will be outside so 2r by 3 and this pi is going to come outside so let me write down here so 2r by 3 and in denominator we have pi so it is going to be 2r 
divided by 3 pi friends so we have got here sin theta and then this sin theta I have written here and then this d theta we have friends so here variable is theta so we have to see how theta is going to vary so so semicircle is starting from here so for this particular line we can have theta value as 0 so for this line friend here theta is going to be 0 radians and as we go further from here to here because sector is going to start from here and it is going to rotate completely till here right so when it comes to this particular end theta is going to be pi pi radians friends so this is important theta will start from zero radians and it will go up to pi radians for the semicircle friends so we have to consider the limit integration is going to start from theta equal to zero to theta equal to pi radians like this so if you can integrate this you will be getting the final answer friends so how to integrate so integration of sine theta is going to be minus cos theta so the outside will be getting constant 2r by 3 pi as it is and the integration of sine theta is minus cos theta and the limits are from 0 to pi so i am going to put the upper limit and lower limit to get the final value of integration so 2r by 3 pi as it is i am going to put upper limit friends so upper limit is basically pi i will take this minus also outside for easy calculation so minus i have taken outside so inside is cos theta so upper limit is pi so i am going to put cos pi and then for lower limit i am going to put cos 0 so i will write down that also cos of pi minus cos 0 friends and if i further simplify this it is going to be minus 2r by 3 pi as you can see cos pi is minus 1 friends and minus 1 cos 0 is 1 so minus 1 and minus 1 is going to be minus 2 so the value of y you are going to get as 4r divided by 3 pi so this is the y coordinate of centroid that is y bar as what 4r upon 3 pi friends okay so by following this simple procedure you can easily find out the coordinate of centroid of a semicircle or the centroid of semicircular area so we have got the y coordinate of centroid as y bar equal to 4r upon 3 pi so following simple procedure you can easily find out the centroid of semicircular area or centroid of a semicircle thank you very much